Hello, and welcome to today's Tuesday Tip. Thank you to all of that responded to last Tuesday Tip on smoking violations. So many of you responded to give encouragement and to say that it's not an easy process going smoke-free. I will let the viewer know that the consensus from the majority is to just hang on in there and it will get better. Today's tip is about the recent government shutdown as it relates to our industry, the multifamily industry. Hundreds of thousands of families, as well as owners and agents, face severe hardships with the shutdown. It is fair to say that the HUD programs will be affected. Ours is a strong industry, so we're going to roll up our sleeves and make lemonade out of lemons. There are a few things that I would like you to know, however. First, MORs will still be conducted at least to the end of March. Secondly, those rental assistance contracts that were not executed in December and January were not executed in December and January will not receive a HAP voucher until the shutdown is over, unfortunately. It may affect some February vouchers as well according to how long the shutdown lasts. Thirdly, HUD released two memos regarding the impact of the shutdown to the multifamily industry that can be found on our website. Fourthly, it is my understanding that if your property is not receiving payment, is not receiving payment, or is experiencing an emergency situation and has a reserve for replacement account subject to HUD's oversight, you may request to utilize those funds to pay property operating expenses. To ensure your request is promptly processed during the shutdown period, complete the HUD form 9250 and submit it via email to the Asset Management Division Director of your assigned HUD field office. If you are not sure of your assigned HUD office or asset director, I'm told that you can contact Jennifer Larson at jennifer.l.larson, L-A-R-S-O-N, at hud.gov. Now, the form must include three things. First, the current balance that's in the reserve for replacement account. Secondly, the withdrawal amount and the remaining balance. And last but not least, it should also include a statement confirming that the release of funds will be reimbursed to the reserve for replacement account once HUD appropriations funding is restored. We've also received calls in reference to EIV. We know that some of the information is not current. I want to remind you that as far as ARs, ICs, and IRs go, to keep a copy of what you pull up in EIV for your records. And just as we were instructed in the last RIP listserv notice, number 411, do old-fashioned third-party verifications if you cannot get any information out of EIV. Thanks. And we'll look forward to next week's Tuesday Tip.